guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I have more affordable head to toe outfits from Walmart to share with you. I wanna get right to the fun part, the try-ons. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. Random side note, I like to switch up the scenery a little bit. It makes it interesting for me and I hope it makes it interesting for you as well. I decided to film in front of the rack where I store all of the Walmart pieces for upcoming videos. And as you can see, I have quite a lot to share with you. This is about three videos worth. We're going to be looking from here over today and then you can look forward to seeing the other pieces in future videos. But I digress, let's look at the first piece. First piece I picked up off of the clearance rack and I really lucked out with the price. This is by the brand No Boundaries and it is a knit hoodie. It was originally only $10.96, so not exactly breaking the bank, right? I ended up paying $5.20, so there was no way that I was leaving this behind. This is a polyester rayon and spandex blend. It is machine wash and tumble dry, so easy care. There is so much that I love about this. I like the feel of this knit. It feels very cozy. I'm so glad that it doesn't have acrylic in it. It has a hood on the back. It is long sleeves. I found that the sleeves were plenty long enough for me. One of my favorite parts about this top is this fun ruched detail on the side. This is fully adjustable. I can untie this and this will fit me as a tunic length. I can also zhuzh the sides a little bit and give the top a completely different shape. I cannot believe I got this for this price. Now, in general, I honestly prefer the Time and True line, but every now and then a piece will catch my eye from the Juniors department. So these are also by the brand No Boundaries, and I really wanted to give these a try. These are $12.88. These are a size large. They are a mid-rise jegging. These are a blend of cotton, polyester, and spandex. They do have a little bit of stretch. Full disclosure, I could have used a little bit more stretch if I'm being completely honest. These are machine wash inside out and tumble dry. These turned out to be the perfect length for me, and as a point of reference, I am five foot four. They have these pork chop pockets. I love the gray on gray camo of this as opposed to the expected green. These are pretty fitted on me. They do have a nice, stretchy, comfortable waistband, which I do appreciate. There are working pockets on the back. I haven't watched the footage back yet, and my hope is that these are laying smoothly. Overall, I really like these. They have a nice feel for the price. I wanted to show you this look with a couple of different shoe options so that whatever you have in your closet, you can find an outfit that works. I first pulled a pair of tall black boots out of my closet. I've shown those in other videos. Then I decided to try these on with the combat boots that I showed you in my most recent video. If you haven't watched my video on shoes and accessories, I will link that in the cards above. I found some amazing clearance prices. Prices. But I digress. Let me show you the combat boots briefly. These black combat boots were one of my clearance rack finds. These were originally $24.98. I picked them up for $11. These are surprisingly comfortable. And in my mind, camo and combat boots go together. So I decided to put together that look. But if that's not your thing, you could easily wear any type of booty or even a tall boot like I did in the first outfit. The next piece is also by No Boundaries. This is a size large. This was originally $14.96 and I paid $9 for it. This is 100% polyester, machine wash, and tumble dry. This sweater is ridiculously soft. It literally feels like a bunny rabbit. I love this blue color so much. I love the fact that it's easy care. It doesn't have any acrylic in it. This sweater is ridiculously comfortable as well. As much as I want to stay warm, I'm not a fan of big, heavy sweaters. This sweater is remarkably lightweight and I absolutely love that about it. This sweater has a nice V neckline in the front and then on the back it has this fun detail with this silver tone ring and it also comes down into a V in the back. I think that that look is very flattering because it opens up the neckline. This sweater is warm and cozy now, but because of its lightweight nature, I think it'll transition into spring beautifully. I also love the way it looks with the tie-dye sneakers that I showed 
in my previous video. I think this will make a really cute outfit. Speaking of tie-dye, this next top is also by No Boundaries. I did pick this up in a size extra large. This is $9.98. This is 58% cotton, 42% polyester, machine wash, and tumble dry. Now I'm just going to say it. This top speaks to my inner hippie chick. I can't explain it, but I love this wild tie-dye with the black running through. This is a generous long sleeve top, and I bought it in a size extra large because I envisioned trying to tie it on the side to make it a little bit asymmetrical, because otherwise it has a straight hem and I thought it might look a little too boxy and square. This does have a chest pocket, and I'm pretty impressed that the pattern matches up reasonably well. Fun fact, I often receive very expensive tops from Stitch Fix that have a pocket like this, and the pocket does not match up to the top. It makes me crazy. So I'm so glad to see that at this price point, this actually lines up. This is the kind of piece that is just really fun to play with. You can tie this at the waist, you can push up the sleeves, you can top this with a black vest. I think that would look sharp. I love the colors in this. They are very vibrant and really pop against this black. Now we're going to go in the complete opposite direction of the No Boundaries line because this sweater is by Beach Lunch Lounge. And yes, you heard me right. This is a size small. This was originally $21.46. I paid $17.88. This is a blend of 62% acrylic, 34% nylon, and 4% spandex. It is machine wash, reshape, and lay flat to dry. I showed you this sweater very briefly in my last video as a sneak peek because I could not believe that I found Beach Lunch Lounge at Walmart and I asked you if you recognize the brand and several of you came back and told me I've seen that brand at Nordstrom's I've seen that brand at Macy's honestly when I first saw the Beach Lunch Lounge brand at Walmart my first thought was it must be a second there's something wrong with it maybe it didn't meet quality control standards to go into a higher price department store but then I noticed that there was an entire collection at Walmart. So in addition to this sweater, there were a couple of different bottoms and a couple of other tops. So I'm not so sure about the quality issue. When I tried this on, it fit appropriately. It didn't have one sleeve that was shorter than the other or anything strange like that. So I really can't explain why this is at my Walmart. If you go to Walmart frequently, let me know in the comments down below if you have seen any of this brand at your local Walmart. I'm really curious how this ended up at Walmart at all. This isn't quite an olive green. It definitely has more of a blue base, which goes better with my coloring personally. A true army green can make me look very sallow and yellow. So I love the color of this particular green. I also love the subtle animal print striping on this. I think this sweater is really cute and I cannot believe I got this for this price. I was in my local Walmart yesterday. Well, let's face it, I'm always in Walmart in one capacity or another. I'm either online or in a store looking for pieces to share with you. But these shoes that I have had for about a year are on clearance right now, so I felt like I would be remiss if I didn't mention them. Now, these are shoes that I wear to work every day. They are so comfortable. For my real job outside of YouTube, I work in the pet food industry, and this kind of reminds me of an animal print. Every time I wear these sneakers that were under $15, I get a ton of compliments. These are also extremely lightweight. I do not like a heavy, clunky sneaker. And when I was at my Walmart, they had rows and rows of these on clearance. If you can get your hands on these, I highly recommend them. The next piece that I wanna share with you is a pair of leggings. These are also by the brand No Boundaries, so I did size up to a size large, $4.00 and 44 cents, and they have a ton of colors and patterns. These are 95% cotton and 5% spandex, so they have just enough stretch where they don't get baggy, but they're not skin tight either. These say to machine wash inside out and tumble dry. Full disclosure, prior to the pandemic, I was never really much for wearing leggings. I really don't consider them to be pants per se, and any time that I wear them, I will absolutely only wear them with a tunic length top. 
With that said, now that our social environment has changed and I'm home a lot more often, I want to be more comfortable and thanks to the Quarantine 15, regular pants aren't quite as comfortable as they used to be for me. I'm really getting into these leggings. These caught my eye because of the gray combination of camo. The gray camo jeggings that I showed you a moment ago definitely have more of a woven chino feel to the fabric. These are a knit and they really feel like pajama bottoms. I feel like I'm getting away with something when I wear these out of my house. Maybe it's just because I'm not accustomed to wearing leggings, but no shame here. I do wear these out of the house now. I love the fact that I can have an assortment of these in different colors and patterns, and especially at $4.44. The next piece is by Time and True. This is a size small. It is a relaxed fit sweatshirt. It is $11.44. 60% cotton and 40% polyester. It says to machine wash inside out and tumble dry. Now one by one, I am acquiring this particular sweatshirt in every color that it comes in. And it comes in quite a few. I actually hope that this goes on clearance soon so that I can pick up the additional colors that I'm lacking. I love the simplicity of this. It is very soft and cozy. When a sweatshirt is banded like this, I am always happy to see this little side slit. I think it just makes a world of difference in how it lays. I love every color that this comes in and I know that I'm going to end up picking up more. This is the exact type of top that I will wear over leggings because it does hit me at a tunic length. And you can really match up so many of the leggings that they have at Walmart with this particular top. Love it. This piece is also by No Boundaries. This is a size medium. This was originally $15.96 and I paid $9 for it. This is 72% acrylic, 25% nylon, and 3% spandex. It says to machine wash inside out and tumble dry. Now, although acrylic is my least favorite fabric on the planet, I already have this in another color, and for whatever reason, I found it to be tolerable in this one. This has a cowl neck, which is also something that I don't typically gravitate toward, but it's far enough away from the neck where I didn't feel like I was being strangled. Now, you'll notice that I showed you two camo pieces in the gray combination. I wanted to pick up a traditional green camo. I also like how this has black running through it. I think that this will look adorable with the combat boots. The color combination and tone of this sweater matches these sneakers from Walmart almost identically. And I toyed with the idea of wearing these together, but I'm almost afraid that it's too matchy-matchy. And in fact, I would love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments down down below if you would wear these two together or is this just a little bit too gray animals let me know so let's talk about my outfit of the day the woven tunic top that I have on is by time and true I picked this up last fall I loved it so much that I picked it up in two additional colors I have washed and worn this top many times and it is still going strong Big surprise, the jeans that I have on are my Time and True High Rise Skinny Jeans. I promise you I will wear something else eventually. I love these so much, they are under $20. The tall gray boots that I'm wearing are by the brand Guess, but make no mistake, I did not pay full price for these. I always try to buy my shoes and boots in particular off season. I got these at around 75% off a couple of seasons ago. The vest that I'm wearing, I picked up from Marshalls a couple of seasons ago and I know that I paid under $30 for it. I love this vest for so many reasons. The gray color is one of the Pantone colors of the year. This vest is fully reversible so it has one side that has a little bit of a sheen to it and is smooth and then the inside is soft and fluffy as a bunny and remarkably no matter which side you wear it on you still have pockets. I'm also a big fan of a toggle drawstring at the waist so that you can define the waist a little bit and add a little shape to it. I wear this vest all of the time. The jewelry that I'm wearing is from Walmart. It's from one of my recent Walmart hauls. I love this double layer necklace, although it is not connected. So I can choose to wear one 
or both and they have a little bit of space in between so that you can get a layered look. This one is a silver tone with pretty little rhinestones. It was a whopping $2.88 and it is in store now. The earrings that I have on are also from Walmart. I am very partial to this particular shape. These remind me of a pair that my friend Angela picked up recently. The bag that I'm carrying is also from Walmart. This bag is available in three colors. I picked up the army green for my fall and winter looks, but they also have kind of a brick red corally color that I really have my eye on, and they also have it in a classic black. This bag is the perfect size for me. Because of the handle structure, I can wear this in the crook of my arm and look like a fancy lady, but if I want to be hands-free, it also comes with a matching crossbody strap. Often when I'm shopping, this is the option that I will use. Many of you ladies commented that you really liked the sneak peek that I included in my last video, so I decided to do another one. Every one of these accessories and shoes are from Walmart. Most are currently in store now. Many of them are on clearance, and this is just how I keep myself organized when I'm getting ready to do another Walmart video. I don't know about you, but I am jonesing for color and spring. As soon as I saw this particular dress by Time and True, I knew that it was going in a video. I absolutely love this beautiful fuchsia and floral print. I also think that these coral canvas sneakers that are hitting the Walmart shelves now will look adorable with this dress with a faded denim jacket over it. Since I'm standing here, I might as well show you the rest of the pieces that I just picked up. I loved this dress so much that I also picked it up in black. These dresses have pockets. They hit me just above the knee. This black is going to be a workhorse in my wardrobe. So versatile. This would look pretty dressed up or even with a denim jacket and tennis shoes. I love this navy blue and white striped dress. Nothing says summer more to me than this particular combination. This does have a crew neck. I'm not sure how this one's going to look on me because it is a midi length. On the Walmart website, I picked up a two-pack of their V-neck t-shirts. V-neck is definitely my preference. This fabric has a nice feel to it. This is not a color that I wear often, but I saw it all over the runways for spring-summer 2021, and I thought if I put a little bit of shimmer next to my neckline, it might work for me. The two-pack also came with a white one, and I try to refresh my white t-shirts every season because they can get dingy. I absolutely love the color and the texture of this split neck top. It's a pretty seafoam green, and you can see that I already have the earrings picked out that I'll wear during the try on. Because I'm getting ready to film another Walmart video, I went ahead and pulled my denim jackets from last season out of my closet and moved them onto this rack. I like to have at least a light wash and then a deeper blue, both of these denim jackets are still available on the Walmart website. I will link them in the description box below, and I intend to style them with the pieces that I just picked up. I cannot wait to try this dress on. I don't try anything on until I'm actually working on the video, and you will see this one soon. If you would like to see even more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm going to link a couple of my previous videos here, and I will see you next time.